Hello, and welcome to this video presentation of your first Pluto project. This will introduce you to how to work with the ABB Safety PLC Pluto unit. The following video will introduce how the tool Pluto Manager works, and how to add Pluto units. This is part 2 in a series of videos. First, starting with a brief orientation of the preferences. Under the Communication tab, the port used to program the Pluto units must be selected. The USB cable driver, that should be installed during the installation of Pluto Manager, is assigned to a COM port by the Windows OS. This COM port has the letters VCP, inside brackets. It stands for Virtual COM Port, please point to it. Please note that the cable must be connected to the computer for it to appear. The screen update interval is how often the computer pulls the Pluto unit during online monitoring. The directories tab is used to point where Pluto projects should be saved. Normally it points to a directory in the user's folder, but here it's been changed to another location by using the change button. The update via internet tab is useful to keep Pluto manager up to date, and when downloading Pluto OS updates. The Language tab is used to set the language in which the blocks in the block libraries are described. More about blocks later. The Encoding tab sets in which format the Pluto project is saved. The Appearance tab makes it possible to change colors in the PLC section. The ETC tab is used to, for example, set which text editor the project can be edited in. Preferences can also be reached from the file menu. From the menu it's possible to perform a lot of operations, like for example, creating a new project. This can also be done by menu clicking on project in the tree and choose new project. It's also possible to open an existing project in this way. Short about the include source code in compiled file checked box. It will include the project file including names of variables, and PLC code. This means that when uploading from a Pluto unit, you will get the latest version of the project that is actually in the Pluto unit. Then there is no need to search for the latest file version when visiting the application site. If the box is left unchecked, only the PLC code in hexadecimal format will be downloaded. This format is machine code only readable by the CPU units, but it could be used to transfer the project to a new replacement unit. The Pluto Manager make use of function libraries. These libraries contain blocks with TUV certified code, making it easy to realize safety functions. User libraries can be created but it's advised to use the standard libraries. There are a number of different libraries, and the library func 06 is included by default. The blocks inside each library is shown in the right part of the window. The other libraries shown were used in Pluto Manager versions older than the one this movie is showing. They are there for Pluto Manager to be backwards compatible. By clicking the Save button or using the File menu and Save, the project can be saved to a file location chosen by the user. Or it will point to the default project directory, as shown under the Directories tab and Preferences. There are a number of quick buttons in the top part of the manager. These are, a Compile button, an Online Monitoring button, and some Bus Status buttons, plus others. Use the project description window to fill out important information, such as for example the history of change. By menu clicking on the project in the left tree a number of functions can be chosen. One of them is adding a new Pluto unit by choosing New Pluto. A guide will pop up and the different Pluto families will be shown. Find the Pluto D45 in the double family. Use the default Pluto number of zero ranging between 0 to 31. Use the default instruction set 3. Instruction set 2 is used in an older processor version. It's there so the manager is backwards compatible. In part 1, the hardware introduction video, two units were added, 
each connected to an ID fix. The ID fix needs a unique hexadecimal number. This number can be added in different ways. The first is by selecting a predefined version. This project is a multi-Pluto project so none of the predefined versions can be used. The second method is to go to the Tools menu and use the Copy Online ID Fix to Clipboard with a programming cable connected to the intended unit. Then paste it into the ID Fix window. The third is to manually enter it. Since the ID Fix Read Write is already programmed with a number, use that number. The fourth method is by using the Read ID Fix Number from Pluto button. This uses the unit's K button and bus. Please see the manual. The second Pluto unit is added in the same way, but it belongs to the A20 family. Use the consecutive Pluto node number 1, of 1 to 31 possible. Add its unique ID fix number. Use each unit's Pluto description window to, for example, further describe each unit's function and placement. In this part it has been shown how to add new units, and link an ID fix to it. Blocks has also been mentioned, and they're an important part in learning how to program a Pluto project. In the next part, in this video series, it will be shown how to perform an I.O. configuration.